It is always fun to discover something new about ourselves, about where we live, and about the lives of those who came before us. And tonight on Only in Indiana, Kevin Rader and photographer John Duong rediscovered something about Indiana that may entice you to take a walk back in time. Getting off the beaten path can be rewarding. You can find secret places that have a story all of their own, just waiting to be told. This waterfall at Charlestown State Park is just such a place. Just when you think you've found the secret place you discover, it really just leads to something more. Welcome to Rose Island. Rose Island hosted 135,000 visitors annually during its heyday in the 1920s. It was before the Depression and before World War II, 118 acres on the peninsula, known as the Devil's Backbone along 14 Mile Creek. Rose Island was the place to be during the 1920s, with a pool, dining and dance hall, cottages, roller coaster and zoo. They danced to the Charleston as the billboard declared it was an ideal way to spend Decoration Day. To get there, one could drive and pay 25 cents to cross the swinging walk bridge into the amusement park. Or you could take the steamer from Louisville, Kentucky. I remember there was a big black bear called Teddy Roosevelt in a cage. Among other things, they also had alligators in a pit. This concrete swimming pool, with dimensions of approximately 100 feet by 42 feet, was reported to be the first filtered water swimming pool in the Midwest. My biggest problem was to keep people from climbing the trees and diving in. This was before shorts, so all the women wore their nice dresses. They had live music in the dance hall, and we'd all dance. But in its heyday, this was a grand entry for the park. People would come over from the boats across the Ohio from Kentucky from basically Louisville to enjoy the amusement park. Ironically, it wasn't the depression that put this place under, although that did hurt. It was the flood that followed in 1937 when the water reached that level. The hotel, the cottages, the good times all wiped out. Now only the remnants remain. The wind and the sound of the birds drowned out the Ferris wheel and the wooden roller coaster screeches that once echoed here. The laughter, gone. But the well-worn path lined with the arches of yesterday is still here. The 1937 flood destroyed the amusement park and it was never rebuilt. The swinging bridge has been replaced by the historic Portersville Bridge. Visitors still come, but nowhere near as many as used to. Now it's all part of the park's mystique. You can stroll back in time down the walkway of roses and see the signs for the hotel, the pool which has now been filled in, and the cottages. And you still have to wonder what it must have been like a hundred years ago. It's a story waiting to be told. It's a place waiting to be rediscovered. At Charlestown State Park in Clark County, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. It's really interesting, and if you're looking for a good place for a hike or a special place to plan a family picnic, Kevin says Rose Island in Charlestown State Park in Clark County is a perfect spot for that. All right. Nice and little history lesson. It is, and yeah. you know, always the, the weather is key for any hike. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> or picnic. Or 